Hi everyone, Coach Alexi here. This little video is going to be explaining to you a little bit more about arm drive when you're running, particularly from the point of view of whether if you have a job that involves a lot of sitting hunched over a computer or over a steering wheel during the day, the impact that that can have on your running and some things to do to help. So this is an initial view of our arm and shoulder position with a runner. So the first thing I'm looking for is this little gap here between the elbow and the back as you're running the, looking at the runner from the back. Um, what we're looking for here is that there's not too big a gap, too big a number four made by the arm, the elbow and the back there. This is probably a little bit borderline. If that elbow was creeping out any further to the side, I might want to look at why that's happening. When you're running, generally, you don't want too much sideways force going on. You want more of it going forwards instead. The other interesting thing to look at is whether or not there's a, say, a difference on the other side. So with this chap here, there's a slightly smaller gap between elbow and body on the other side. So that's maybe something to look into. There's also a clue on this view about what might be going on when we look from a different angle in that there's, you can see a little bit of a twist in the shoulders and a little bit of a slope to one side. So keep your eyes peeled on that one. The other little rule of thumb that I use is if I was to draw a big centre line down the centre of your body, so if you've got a zip on the front of your zip uh, jacket, um, you don't want your hands crossing that centre line ideally. So the maximum um, amount that this chap's uh, hand comes across his torso is just to the side of the centre line, which is ideal. So this is what I was chatting about with a little bit of rotation in the chest. So you can see that when this guy's right arm goes back, the arm drive looks really good. We've got 90 degrees, got a big backward arm drive, but actually a lot of that arm drive is coming from a rotation of the whole chest to the right hand side, instead of it just being from this little ball and socket joint at the top of the um, upper arm bone where it joins the shoulder joint. And we can then see when he's moving on the other side, his left arm is extending backwards and he's turning his chest quite far away from me. So that's something that we look into. It's often associated with just really tight and stiff shoulders from being sat at a desk or in a car all day. So that's something we can look into with a few exercises. So some of the exercises that you can do to help with that shoulder mobility is starting off with a bit of a drill at the start of your run, doing nice big backward arm circles as you run. So there's a point about here on the arm circle, where you get a really nice stretch across your chest. In and around the house or the office, hand on a wall, and you can just turn away from that hand, get a really nice stretch across the front of the chest. And then when you're sat down at work or any time throughout the day, nice shoulder rolls. So with both shoulders, just lifting them up in that upward position, moving them back, and then sliding your shoulder blades down the back of your rib cage. So whenever you can remember, nice big slow shoulder rolls really will help your posture and um, any sort of upper back pain or neck pain that you might get for being uh, seated quite a lot of the time but will also help your running. I hope that helps.